New at six crane concerns after a tragic construction accident. A crane towering high above Seattle suddenly collapsed Saturday afternoon, and you can see part of that crane hitting a building before it fell onto the street below. Four people killed in that accident. There are 125,000 construction cranes in operation across the U.S. And according to OSHA, 71 people are killed in crane accidents every year. NBC Charlotte's Hunter Signs live at six. Hunter, there are a lot of cranes in uptown. Are people worried about something similar happening here? There are some of those concerns here, Fred. As you walk through Uptown, you might not give these cranes above you much thought. They make up a large portion of the skyline these days, but after that deadly collapse, the question is just how safe are they? You can't miss them. Charlotte has had a lot of tower cranes up. Honestly, every second I look out the window when I'm at work, there's a new crane that pops up, new building everywhere. They're popping up as quickly as spring flowers. And there's supposed to be about 10 to 15 more going up in the next within the next year. For some, they can be daunting. It does bring up some cause of concern, especially with the weather recently, it being very windy. And this weekend, a crane proved deadly. Investigators in Seattle are looking to see if weather played a factor when this crane crashed down, killing two crane workers and two bystanders below. When, when tower cranes go down, it's a freak accident. Mike Brayman has inspected cranes for 20 years and says they're most vulnerable when being put up or taken down. You need little to no wind at all. Over the years, OSHA has tightened rules and regulations. Mike checks them all. Make sure the bolts are torqued, uh, cotter keys are in pins, hoist cables, no broken wires. Safety measures to keep those on top and below out of harm's way. You're, you're safe. You are completely safe. Mike says tower cranes like the one you see here can handle winds of upwards of 200 miles per hour when they are actually up. He says the city of Charlotte will actually close these streets around it when they start to take it down. Reporting live in Uptown, Hunter Signs, NBC Charlotte. Good to know they're keeping a close eye on Hunter, thank you for that report.